please hit a like on the video. It really does support me and you know helps me grow the channel a lot. And uh, also, I just like to see it. Comment down below anything you want, really. Just leave me a comment, I don't care. I just like to see you guys kind of interact with the video and meet new people. Um, I've actually interacted with quite a few people off of my YouTube channel on my Instagram, and uh, that's really cool to me, so. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, I've been pretty inconsistent on keeping up with my one video a week upload schedule. Um, I've been extremely, extremely busy uh, between clients and the flip project. If you haven't checked it out already, go check out the videos on my channel showing you and walking you through the flip investment property um, that's going on right now. It's starting to slow down a little bit and honestly, I've been kind of back and forth on the types of videos that I want to film on this channel. Um, I really want to create something that's going to last a long time and I don't think that uh, the types of videos that I'm doing as far as these day in life vlogs are going to kind of be good for the longevity of the channel. So um, I'm still kind of brainstorming on what I want to upload for you guys. Yeah, so that's kind of why I haven't been uploading as much as I was in the past. I'm still doing like one every 10 days, but um, yeah, I want to obviously maintain the growth. Um, we are at 428 subscribers as of right now. I absolutely love you guys. I, I can't even express how happy that makes me to have seen all this growth from the past few months of actually making videos and um, you know, you guys reaching out on my Instagram at Kaden Lino. It's been awesome to connect with you on a more personal level and uh, kind of just build this community of people that um, you know, are young entrepreneurs trying to succeed. So thank you guys for tuning in and uh, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1000 subscribers. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to briefly kind of talk to you for a second and let you know why I haven't been uploading as much as I would like to and uh, let you know that in the future, I do plan to kind of brainstorm more ideas for uh, better content on this channel, whether it's more motivational stuff or um, more educational and not so much the day in the life vlog. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am gonna take you through another day in my life today um, just to kind of get something out there for you guys. A lot of you guys do like these kind of videos too, so I don't wanna just completely throw away um, the day in life vlogs. Um, but yeah, I got a cool day today. I actually have a signing today. I'm not gonna be going to it because it's just kind of not necessary for me to be there. It would take up 30 minutes of my time and I'm gonna be going to work on the flip project today, which is almost wrapped up and uh, should be kind of ready to list within the next two to three weeks and uh, that's going really well. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to the flip project, kind of show you what's been going on, show you the changes. In the last video I showed you, I was having a very bad day and uh, we just kind of rolled with the punches. So I'll show you everything that's been done since that video. And if you wanna check that out, obviously it's on my channel. So I basically just have to schedule some showings for tonight. Uh, after I get done working around five o'clock, I'm gonna go do some showings. And then um, I have an addendum to send out and then my signing is at 1.30 today. So I'll basically just be keeping in touch with my client and making sure it went well and that should close on Monday. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, again, thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that like button and showing that support. Um, it really means a lot to me. So let's get on with our day. All right guys, this is gonna be a random clip in some video, um, but I'd like to share with you guys the paydays, I guess. Um, the last video I posted was a day in the life. It was a bad day. Um, I told you I closed two listings, um, so that's what these are, um, and I wanted to share with you. If you hear my voice, I was sick for the past couple of days, so I just got to my office today, finally, after like three days. So let's go ahead and open these up. And again, these listings in total were, I think, 925,000, 570,000 plus 355,000. Okay, so again, these listings in total were $925,000 in sales volume. Um, they both came from, well, one came from a referral and then one came from an open house lead. 
the one from the open house lead we're still under contract on her property that she's buying so um, but I wanted to share with you guys these because in my last video I posted about having a bad day in real estate and how the lows are worth the highs so now I get to kind of reap the reward of all the hard work and this was really really hard um, with everything I have going on with the investment property and my family um, so wanted to share with you guys this really quick so that way you can kind of see it's not all bad so check number one is for eleven thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars twenty five cents check number two is for nine thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and fifty cents all right guys so again sorry if you can hear my voice i was a little sick the last couple days um, i'm finally feeling better today so um, i'm still taking it easy but i needed to do uh, go run some errands and I know I'm gonna upload a video, um, probably another day in life, or just, I guess, vlog at this point. Um, but I wanted to throw this clip in there somewhere to share with you guys kind of, again, the reward of all the hard work. Because in the last video, I didn't wanna glorify like that this business or industry has a ton of bad days. I think I might've came off that way. Like, um, you know, you will get kicked down um, quite often, I think is what I said. And it's true, you'll have those down days but there are a lot more good days in real estate than bad, in my opinion. So these are one of the good days. As you see, if you can see the dates, um, they're about a week apart. So I had one close on the 29th and then one close on the 8th. So, um, you know, about $20,000 in gross commissions in one month earned. So um, after tax, it'll be right around like 14, five, 15,000. So not too terrible for one month, um, 30 days. You know, it was, it was quite a bit of work, but um, you know, $15,000, it's kind of, I think the way to look at it, and another agent told me at one point, is that, um, you know, if you have one bad year, um, you know, that one bad year, if you sell five houses, and uh, that five houses makes you $40,000, that's enough for what you would make at a normal salary job, or a decently salary job, um, starting out outside of college. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I look at it, like $15,000 to make in one month, even though it was difficult, now I can kind of relax a little bit. Obviously I'm not going to, cause I'm trying to build uh, a strong business. But um, you know, even if I didn't do another deal for the next few months or however many, um, I'd be pretty okay. So that's the benefit to this business. A lot of downtime, even like right now getting sick, you know, I didn't have to call a boss. I didn't have to ask somebody if I could take days off. I can take however many days off I want um, until I'm feeling better. And not having that stress is also why I like this business so much. So. Yeah, I wanted to share this with you guys. I don't want to go on too long, but I wanted to share with you the checks that I picked up and uh, show you the hard work pays off. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, I wanted to touch on a topic really quick on the drive to the project. Um, and this is something that I don't know if I've mentioned already or talked about in previous videos. So I thought I would kind of touch on it really quickly. And that is why I do some of the work on my projects myself. Um, I don't always, the last project that I did actually I did not touch on my own at all. Um, I hired it out completely and I actually made the most profit in the most uh, short amount of time. So it works best depending on what I have going on in my life. Um, if I'm going to be super busy, like I knew I was going to be when I did my last project, I know that I will bid out and um, do my budget as if I'm going to hire out the whole project. And if I don't think I'm going to be very busy, I will budget to do some of the work myself because it ends up saving me obviously quite a bit of money, which in return puts more profit in my pocket. So basically, I thought to myself, why don't I do myself a favor and since I don't have very much business going on or planned on, I will budget this project to do the work myself. And in total, doing all the things that I have done on this project, um, you know, myself, I will have saved us $30,000. Um, which obviously will go back into my pocket because I've done all the flooring, the painting, all the trim work, the custom shiplap walls, and then I'll end up spraying all the trim and um, you know the walls and whatnot. So all that stuff included um, is about twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars worth of work that I sh would have hired out and paid out, but because I thought I wasn't going to be so busy, I ended up doing it myself. Now here's where I kind of went wrong. And that is that I'm getting increasingly more busy as time goes on with my real estate clients. And while I didn't have anybody lined up at the time to buy or sell, I ended up representing two listings and two buyers um, during the time of this project. So 
the reason I have been uploading less is because I've basically been working on the project. I'll do the floors, I'll paint, whatever it is. And then I will be on my way to show clients houses by like 5 p.m. I kind of doubted myself in that I wouldn't have very many clients this year. And so I thought, let me do the work myself. So as time goes on, I need to realize that I am uh, running more successful businesses than I maybe think. And I need to value my time a little bit more because while I save myself 30 grand on some of the things that will go back into my pocket, could I have been searching for more clients and representing the clients that I had better had I not been so busy on the project? So something that I've been asking myself and I will probably in the future start just hiring out the project completely. But that's something that I just wanted to touch on briefly because I know that uh, maybe some of you are wondering like why I do the work myself. Um, I don't always, again, it kind of in summary, it just depends on what I have going on. If I'm not super busy, I will plan on doing some stuff myself to save some money. If I am busy, I'll hire the whole thing out. But yeah, in the future, I will probably start uh, outsourcing the whole project. So I just want to touch on that. Alrighty. All right, we are back guys. Um, as you can see, a lot of the trim is up. I just did this wall yesterday. I just got to do the end pieces and I forgot to get something I needed from the store. That's the way it goes. But we got a lot to do today anyways that we can get done. I just bought all this new trim. Uh, this is for the baseboards, you know, obviously around the flooring and everything. I got to do all these back rooms here, all the bedrooms and everything still need it. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. As you can see, most of the door trim, like 95% of it is done. I just got to do the top piece on some of them, but most of it's done. I did the windows yesterday. So yeah, a lot of it will be done today. Let's show you guys the bathrooms. These bathrooms are actually completely done. Well, actually I still need to do mirrors and then like towel hangers and stuff, but these came out really nice. This is the best reveal of all, the master. And look at how this turned out. Don't mind that missing light. Look at that. Big waterfall shower head, gold accents to match the faucets and the vanity. New lights, again, just need mirrors in here, but this is done. We got a little shower niche in there. Really nice. So these rooms are done. Um, just gonna do the trim on the round of baseboards and fix all the spots that need door trim still. But yeah, things are coming along. Let me show you guys how the concrete is turning out. Again, referencing one of my other videos, um, the last video I posted was about the bad day I was having because of the $10,000 mistake that I made with the concrete and not budgeting for it. Let me show you how it's turning out. It's actually really nice. So it's been raining a lot where I'm at, but they got it all formed and compacted in. So um, all of this obviously will be brand new it's gonna actually ramp and slope down instead of having steps so that'll be kind of nice for somebody that might have wheelchair or need wheelchair access and then we'll form all the way to here and as soon as it's sunny out they can pour everything so um, I think by next weekend it should be good to go but they tore up all the driveway to here so all this will be brand new concrete I'm actually really happy and excited to see this go in. And then the paint is actually gonna happen this weekend. Um, so depending on when you guys watch this video, the paint might also be done. This might also be done depending on when you watch it. And I'll make sure to upload a video quick, quickly about uh, the update. But yeah, that's kind of what caused me to have a bad day. Um, yeah, things happen on these projects. It'll still make money. Um, what would help me is if you are still watching to this point, please hit a like on the video. It really does support me and you know helps me grow the channel a lot. And uh, also, I just like to see it. Comment down below anything you want, really. Just leave me a comment, I don't care. I just like to see you guys kind of interact with the video and meet new people. Um, I've actually interacted with quite a few people off of my YouTube channel on my Instagram and uh, that's really cool to me. So yeah, leave a like, leave a comment. If you're still watching to this point, let me know how you're liking the project so far. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys when it gets done. So we're gonna set up, play some music, 
and get to work. All right guys, it's about three o'clock. Um, I've got two of the back rooms done and then the laundry room done as far as trim. But um, I'm pretty bored, honestly, of doing trim because I've obviously done the whole house. So um, it's been just like days and days of laying trim and cutting. Um, so right now I'm gonna go to Chipotle and get some lunch. I don't take care of myself enough when I do these projects and I tend not to eat because um, I'll just keep working. So I'm gonna listen to my own advice and uh, take a break, go get some food. I left my key inside and probably film like an Instagram reel or edit an Instagram reel. I've been filming clips of me um, doing the work here so I might make a reel. If you wanna follow me, at Caden Lino, obviously. I think I've plugged it twice. So yeah, I'm gonna run and get some food really quick and then I'll head back. Alrighty guys, package is secured. Camera is almost dead and my phone is almost dead. So yeah, what I'm, I'm just gonna actually take a break. Um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube on my phone while it charges, have my lunch, kind of relax for a minute and then I'm gonna try to finish at least one more bedroom and then that'll leave me with the master left to do and then all the trim will be complete. So things are moving along good. I'm just pretty exhausted right now. Again, I'm bored of doing all this. So I'm gonna take a break, watch some YouTube videos, and uh, eat my lunch. Really quick, let me put you guys onto something if you don't know this trick already. You put your sauce in your bowl, put the lid back on, and instead of mixing it up with your fork or whatever and getting it everywhere, you just put the lid back on. Boom, easy as that. All right, I'm gonna eat this. All right guys, it's four o'clock now. Um, time to head out. I'm gonna go change before the showing, clean up a little bit. Um, first showing's at five o'clock tonight. So yeah, I'll show you guys a picture of what one of the room looks like all done with all the trim and everything. Um, and yeah, it's looking really good in there. I'm really excited. Painting should go on this weekend for the exterior paint. And uh, I'll be sure to make sure, I, I'll be sure to make sure that I upload a video updating you guys as more things get done. So I'm exhausted and heading home now, gonna get some caffeine and then prepare for the first showing of the night. And we only have two tonight, so that's not too terrible. But yeah, it's been a long day. I'm gonna try to work out tonight too. It's been a while since I've been able to make it to the gym, but we bought a treadmill for the house. So I'm gonna might maybe do a at-home workout, um, but we'll see how it goes. All right guys, so it is 10 o'clock at night. I ended up wrapping up the day with dinner after the showings um, with my family. So I didn't obviously record that just to spend time with them. Um, but I just put my son to bed and uh, yeah, he took a long time to fall asleep. He's two years old and he was feeling pretty rowdy. So uh, yeah, he took a long time. It's too late for me to go down to my main gym because they close at 11. So by the time I got there, it wouldn't really uh, make sense. I wouldn't really have any time to do anything. So I'm actually just gonna do a little bit of jogging or walking on the treadmill tonight and uh, just try and like stay active and kind of uh, stay with my goals. Um, it's very hard this, this time of night to get myself to do it, but 
I'm gonna do it tonight. We just got this treadmill in our home garage, so um, I'm grateful that we have it. And so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do to wrap up my night. I guess I will wrap up the video here as well, you guys. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel. If you are, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel uh, for more content in the future. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this workout done and I will see you guys in the next video.